All right, so we've got some curtains, and today I'm going to show you step by step how to turn curtains into a pair of pants. Let's do it. First and foremost, we're going to need a pattern to make our pants. The quickest, easiest, cheapest way I've found to make a pattern, go to your thrift store, find a pair of pants that fit you the way you like, take them home, and seam rip them into their individual panels. Now let's start cutting it out. Now a good tip when we're laying out our pattern to cut out our pieces, we're gonna use this hem that's already here from the curtains as the hem for the pants. So we only have to hem the waistband. All right, now that we have our panels cut out, we can set those aside. And then with our extra material, we're gonna cut out some pockets. Now you can measure pockets that you already have you can kind of just send it and see what you like, but usually I'll use the width of my hand like this. I'll lay it down and I'll add about two inches on both sides. So we need to cut out four of those in total and two sets that mirror each other. All right, so now we have our four panels for our pants and we have our four pockets. Like I said, they both mirror each other. So I've got two that go this way and two that go this way. They are directional. So now we're gonna set out our pants and get our pockets going. We have our pant panels laid out. On all four of these, we're gonna pin our pockets. Now, you can mess around with the length that you wanna do from the top of the waistband, but I usually go with four inches. It's a safe bet. So I'm gonna go four inches from the very top, right there. And I'm gonna take a pocket panel face down and you can either pin it or clip it. And we're gonna repeat that with all four of them. All right, so now that we're ready to sew, we're gonna take all four of these panels with our pockets, right sides facing each other, and we're gonna sew that down. Quarter inch seam allowance, whatever you're comfortable with. So now that we have that sewn, we're gonna take it and flip it open and we're gonna fold it on top of itself so we've got a nice thin seam right there and we're gonna top stitch that. Okay, so now that we have that done, it should look like this. It's kind of hard to see, but we've got a nice top stitch right there. No raw edges and our pocket is gonna be sitting comfortably on the inside like that. Now all we're gonna do is repeat with the other three of them and we'll touch back in a second. All right, so now that we have our pockets sewn on like that, we should have two front pieces and two back pieces. An easy way to tell them apart is the front pieces are gonna have a smaller of a hook right there. And then the back pieces are gonna have a bigger hook right there. So we're gonna take our two front pieces. And again, since we mirrored them from the start, they should be mirrored now. And we're gonna take that hook, boom, and we're gonna sew it all the way to the top. And this is gonna create the seam that's right here on our pants. So we're gonna do that for the front and the back. So now that we've done that, we should have two pieces that are looking like this, starting to look a little bit more like pants. And our next step is gonna be sewing these two pieces together. So we're gonna throw down one of the two pieces, it doesn't matter, and we're gonna make sure our pockets are nice and open, and we're gonna pin them together. Now that we have both sides pinned together, right sides facing each other, we're gonna take it back to our sewing machine, and we're gonna sew down, and then once we get to our pockets, we're gonna sew around this pocket and then continue our leg down and we're gonna go do that on both sides and then we'll touch base again. All right, so now that we're done with that, we should have both sides sewn and you can stick your hand in there and feel that whole pocket should be sealed up and we just made a very simple, easy pocket. Now our next step is we're gonna do our inseam here and we're just gonna take this joint right here and this joint right here and we're gonna line them up 
sew down one side, sew down the other, and that way it's gonna keep it even and make sure we're not pulling fabric too far to one side. You can sit down and pin this out. I'm comfortable sewing it just with lining it up. Do as you're comfortable with. Now that we've sewn that inseam, we should have a complete pair of pants except for our top waistline. Now with our waistline, I'm just gonna do a simple hem. I'm gonna take it about an inch down and I'm gonna double roll it as such because I'm gonna do a drawstring waistband to make this fit a lot more people than normal. So I'm just gonna go around and do that double rolled hem at about an inch. You can measure it, you can do all of that kind of stuff. Again, I'm just comfortable with rolling it. Um, I've had a fair amount of practice, but that's our next step. So now we have our pants still inside out and we've got them double rolled for our hem. So we're gonna go and we're gonna sew a line on this side and then we're gonna sew a line around that side. So now we turned them right side out. We have a complete pair of pants. We've got the top hemmed, the bottom we didn't have to worry about because we used the hem from the curtains. Here's how our pockets look with that method that I used. And our next step is going to be, we're gonna find the front of our pants, which is gonna be that smaller J like I talked about. And we're gonna snip two holes on here and here, and we're gonna run a string or a shoelace or whatever you have through there to create the drawstring. Since we created that hem and we double rolled it, we now have a channel in there. And once we snap, snip our two holes, to put our drawstring through, I like to just tie a nice little knot on the front right there. And then we're gonna take a safety pin and we're gonna pin it into our string. And with that hole we snipped, we're just gonna sit down, take our time, and we're gonna feed this safety pin all the way through and around into out on the other side. And that's it. You have just created a super simple pair of pants, drawstring, so the waist is adjustable to different sizes. Again, this is a very simple version of how to make pants. There's a lot more in-depth ways. You can do flies, you can do all sorts of stuff, but this is just a simple, replicable way to make pants. So let's style it up and see how it looks.